I just received a cell to jack. I wanted to convert my cellular phone so that it could use a home phone over here. Simple short video. I'm just going to unbox this. They have some tips on the back side. And here's the front side, which shows overall what you're doing. Home phone to cell jack to cellular phone. So no more landline. This saves a lot of money, like $40 to $50. <clears throat> and you can get a phone, a cell phone line for like $10 a month. <clears throat> so huge savings. And this, this costs only $37 on Amazon. You can go cheaper if you buy off of eBay. It's like $34, $35. But <clears throat> I did Amazon because it shipped next day. <clears throat> Sorry, this is actually the other way around this. This just com comes with the box. There's no power adapter or anything. You're expected to use your cell phone uh, power adapter to connect everything. And they tell you the setup over here, as well as the software setup. So it's super easy. It's like three steps here, four steps, four or five steps here. So I'm going to go through it. Um, the first step they mention is connect your cell, cell to jack over here. There's a light, a left small uh, light. That's for when it's connecting. This right is for power to the cell, cell to jack. Um, so the first thing they ask you to do is connect your phone line from the, the wire, from your phone, this thing over here. I'm going to connect it to the magic cell to jack. It's pretty straightforward. That's connected. Now you need to connect the power, this USB cable, into a power adapter and into the wall outlet. <clears throat> they suggest using the, the one that's for your phone. Now, here's my suggestion. I'm not an expect, expert, but I don't like the fact that uh, it, it's a matter of convenience that they'll, they have like a pass through so that you connect this to your wall like this right now to the power, to the wall over here. And then you get your other USB cable and you connect it to your phone. I mean, that's great and convenient, but now with modern phones, they use a lot of like electricity. So I would suggest doing it separately. Get a, get a adapter just for the cell to jack, which I only have. And for my phone, I'm going to have it charged separately with a di different power brick. So I don't have to use the cell to jack. Uh, that's my suggestion. You don't have to do that. Uh, I just think it's going to prevent any types of issues with this thing overheating because it's not powering um, the phone. So I'm going to plug this in. And you'll see the light up. That means the blue light is powered to the seltzer jack, so everything's working fine. Um, right now, there's no light over here, so I need to initiate it. When it starts blinking red over here, this light over here, supposedly it's ready to set up. Let me go turn on my phone over here. So I'm going to turn it on. Turn on speakerphone. One is not connected. Warning. One is not connected. So on the, I'm already up to step. I finished the hardware setup and I'm on to software setup. Warning. One is not connected. And so I need to supposedly put in zero Warning. zero four times. One is not connected. Pairing. You see how it says pairing? It means now it can be detected by your phone when you're trying to pair the Bluetooth. So this is flashing red. It's not saying it needs to be set up anymore. So this activates your Bluetooth pairing on the magic to cell over here. So I need to go a little fast. I need to go to my settings and go to Bluetooth. To settings. And I need to go connect. Oh, darn. Sorry about that. I need to go to Bluetooth pairing. Pair new device. You need, there's cell to jack over here. I'm going to do cell to jack. Uh, I'm not going to do this. You, you could click this so to allow it to know your history, but I'm not for now. You hear that? It said connected on the phone. 
So everything should be set up now according to the instructions. And then we're on to step four. It says it should be red solid when it's ready. And you should hear a dial tone eventually. You see, you just have to turn it off, turn it back on, and you have your dial tone. Uh, so I've actually tested this already. Uh, so I'm gonna make an outgoing call to Amazon support, just cause I like annoying them. I have my speakerphone, I'm gonna do one, eight, 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 two, Eight, zero, uh, four, four, three, one. It's calling. Uh, I'm using a Pixel 3a phone right now, which is nice because it does transcription. This call may be recorded for quality assurance. We have a special promotion today for select callers. If you are over 50, please press 1 now. If not, press 2. Let's press one. Well, anyways, I just want to show you, uh, it's pretty clear. Uh, again, this is running off the Bluetooth technology. So clarity is actually dependent on your Bluetooth connection to your phone. So this, after this, it should just be uh, how it's connecting Bluetooth from your phone. So if there's issues, you could have a faulty cell to jack but I think more so it's more just trying to pair it correctly to the phone and uh, the phone's Bluetooth because you you have so many different phones out there. But anyways, I tried outgoing and as well as incoming. It works just like a regular phone. Uh, I could see phone, the incoming phones on my uh, home, home phone. It showed the incoming numbers. So everything worked pretty fine. And so I'm pretty satisfied. Um, um, We'll see over the long run how this works, but uh, again, uh, two things I would mention is make sure to keep your Bluetooth device close to your Celta jack. Uh, I mean, you can keep it probably like 10 to 15 feet away, but the closer it is, the less issues you'll have with the Bluetooth signal. So I, I'm guessing if some people had some issues, uh, they might be like people who are coming home and they put their phone on the counter, but the cell to jack is further away. So the Bluetooth connection is not going to be that great. And then, then they're going to complain like, oh, well, the phone call wasn't clear and stuff. So the way I'm using it is this phone will be 100% dedicated at home. And so it's not going to move anywhere. It's going to be right next to, next to the cell to jack. So I think this setup is perfect for if you're using it as a dedicated phone line home phone line. And so anyways, that's my short uh, video and hopefully uh, it answers some questions about setting it up. I know there's other videos. This is more just like a short review. Uh, so far I'm satisfied, but we'll see. I need to test this with an actual uh, actual setup for over a long period of time. And this is what my uncle's going to use. So hopefully he's going to be satisfied with it. So, and my uncle's like over 80 and he didn't want to use a cell phone because it's too complicated, but he still want to use his home phone line. He want to use a regular phone, but he I was telling him you don't need to spend, you know, 40 50 dollars for a home phone line, especially when it's not as what do you call it? I I I just like cell phones more than the landline. It's just more convenient. So, over and out.